So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about secant lines. Um, and, and the reality is that in order to understand tangent lines, which are like vitally important to calculus, we need to know what a secant line is. So very simply, a secant line to a curve is just a line that passes through two or more points on that curve. So for instance, if, if you've got a curve like this, and somebody wants the secant line between these two points, you just connect those two points with a line. So that thing called, is called a secant line. Okay? Yay. Definition. So, a, a first example. Suppose I give you the graph of y equals x squared minus x plus 1. Um, I could ask you to sketch the secant line to the curve between negative 1 and 1, and then write the equation of that secant line. So, we'll, we'll do this one together. But but I feel like before we do anything, you guys really should be able to visualize this on your own. So pause the video, um, you know, make sure you graph that thing, and then sketch what the secant line would look like uh, between x equals negative 1 and x equals 1. Well, here, here's what's important. As soon as I give you an x-coordinate, we can find the y-coordinate, right? Like that negative 1, that point is right here, right? And the y-coordinate there, you'll notice, is 3. How else could we have gotten 3? We could also have gotten that by plugging it into the function, by saying y equals negative 1 squared plus, oops, not plus, uh, minus negative 1 plus 1. And when we simplify that, we're going to end up finding out that y is 3, which shows that the point was negative 1, 3. So you've got that one. Um, for the other one over here, you've got 1. Same deal. You could plug that into this to find out that when x is 1, we end up with 1, 1. So our secant line to the curve is the, is the line that's passing through these two points. And now, if we want to write the equation of that secant line, hey, good news, everybody. We have two points. And just like in the previous video, if you have two points, you can find a slope, and then you can write the equation of the line. So I'm going to do that now. Um, my slope will be y2 minus y1. That was y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 1 minus negative 1. That gives me a slope of negative 2 over 2, which means my slope is negative 1. I now have a slope, and I will pick a point. And I can use those things to write my point slope form of the line. y minus 1, the 1 coming from the point, equals negative 1, that came from the slope, times x minus 1. And that's the equation of my secant line. So I, I now I have another example. Um, find the equation for the secant line to f of x between x equals 1 and x equals 3 for this function, f of x equals x squared minus 1 over x. Um, I think that you guys should be able to follow the example we just did and do this one on your own, so please pause the video and do that. All right, so, so what we did in the previous video was we took these two x coordinates and we basically found the points for the secant line. Right. So the first point I find by doing f of 1, that gives me 1 squared minus 1 over 1, that's 0. And so the point is 1, 0. Right. For the other one, I do f of 3, and that gives me 9 minus 1 over 3, that's 8 thirds. Great, so my next point is 3, 8 thirds. Now that I have those two points, I can find the slope. And how do I find the slope? Well, at the moment, I have two points. And so since I have two points, I can use the slope formula. m equals 8 thirds minus 0 over 3 minus 1. That's 8 thirds over 2. So then if I multiply top and bottom both by a half, on the bottom, these are multiplied to be 1. And then on the top, the 2 and the 8 will divide to give me 4. 4. So it looks like my slope is 4 thirds. Fantastic. Now I have a slope, and I can pick either point I want. I, I kind of like the top one because it looks simpler. Um, so I'm going to get y, I mean, technically y minus 0, I'm just going to leave it out. y equals 4 thirds times x minus 1, and that's it. And that's the slope of the secant line. What we did was we found the two points, whoops, the two points, we found the slope in between them, and then we used point-slope form to write the equation of that secant line. 